What is up YouTube? This is Ryan with Sports Card Rush. I am back with another video. Today I have a 2021 Mosaic Baseball uh, Hobby Box, first off the line edition. So this was available on Panini's website uh, last week and it was the Dutch auction style so it dropped in price and you could buy whenever you wanted to. And I think it ended up getting down to maybe like a little below 150, 140 something, maybe even lower than that. Um, I bought this one a little above that, just, um, I don't know, it, it's hard to know when when to buy other than kind of the metric I use is what is, what is the pre-order price on other products, which lately I think um, might not even be a good metric because some of the big online retailers have been kind of jacking those up. So I don't know, we'll see. Uh, you get three autographs here in the first off the line has uh, two exclusive cards here um, let's see if I can find them anywhere uh, well we'll see them when we get them there there's a green one and a pink one and they kind of have like a flare to them and they should be numbered to 11 and 10 I believe so we'll see um, yeah it's obviously not a licensed product so there's limited like high-end value to these um, I've been I watched one video and it kind of tells you how crazy printed the stuff is um, they only had one numbered card in their entire box and I guess this technically that was that was not a first off the line that was just a regular hobby edition and they only had one numbered card in the whole uh, box um, and I'm thinking about last year with football and basketball and you get at least a couple in there. And so for this, hopefully I get at least one number card plus the two first off the line edition cards. So I don't know, we'll see. It, it just seems kind of basic. You get a lot of the silvers and silver mosaics in them. Um, the other thing is this design is exactly the same. They use the same design as they did last year in uh, Chronicles. So it's kind of ridiculous that they're just kind of reusing this over and over again. But what are you gonna do? All right, so we do have color in this very first pack here that's not just a silver. So, uh, Rojas, Frank Thomas, Lazardo, get my focus, there we go, uh, Longoria, Alex Bregman, Will Smith, rookie of Jose Garcia, Braxton Garrett, rookie, and Jazz Chisholm, rookie, just one of the better rookies to get. And a uh, Daniel Lynch, and then let's pull from the back here first. Here's an insert of uh, introductions of Andrew Vaughn, and a rookie debut of Joe Adele. I will say I do like this that it's not uh, the rookie debuts. If you remember from football and basketball, look pretty much like the base cards. I like that it's a little different here, and it's actually kind of considered an insert here, so it's not even the same numbering system. So I do like that a little better, and we'll take a Joe Adele. And a silver mosaic is Mike Soroka. Soraka. Um, I got all kinds of piles going here. And then we have a silver, John Means. And then this is a blue of... Zach McKinstry, the Dodgers. I don't know much about him. That is numbered out of 99. So it's possible this is our only other non-exclusive numbered card, but hopefully we'll get more and we'll see. So lots of cards to get through, so I'm trying to go fast, especially through the base cards, because the base cards, I mean, maybe have a little bit of value here early on, but I think, I assume there's gonna be retail, and so there's going to be plenty of this around. Actually, I know there's going to be retail because I saw on the checklist online that there's uh, the Genesis. So we're just going to kind of fly through those. Nate Pearson rookie. Tristan McKenzie rookie. There's an Alec Bohm rookie. And then another Alec Bohm. That's a pretty good one to get. He kind of struggled this year. Um, but I think he's got potential. They sent him back down. I think straighten him out a little bit. I think he'll bounce back next year. He's got all the all the tools of being a star. Kind of lacked the power um, that I think some people thought he had. But we'll see. 
Um, and then Ivan Rodriguez, and I think, no, this is just an insert here. Jose Altuve, eyes on the prize. And then a International Men of Mystery, DG, Didi Gregarious. Yeah, I don't mind that. Looks okay. So yeah, lots of products coming out right now. Still doing basketball 2020, 2021 stuff, which is kind of crazy. Um, but uh, basketball season has started. There's a rookie of Clark Schmidt. All-time greats, Nolan Ryan, insert card. Rookie of Monte Harrison. There's another Zach McKinstry. We have our first auto, so we'll save that here until we get through these. Austin Meadows Silver. Carlos Correa, Silver Mosaic. Johnny Bench Field Vision, and a uh, Luis Patino rookie debut. All right, so our first auto is Anderson Tejada. So a, a, a bat, that's good, uh, position player. All right, well, you know, I don't know a ton about him. I, I see his name pop up quite a bit in the autograph world. Certain guys, it seems like, sign like a ton of these, and then other guys, it seems pretty rare. Uh, did put his number on there. That's kind of cool, but kind of struggled with it. Is that a 21 or an 11? But I will take it. So value-wise, three autos for 150 bucks-ish isn't too bad, even if you aren't um, getting the first off the line edition. But like I said, with the lack of numbered cards, I thought you'd get a lot more numbered cards in these hobby boxes. Um, but doesn't look like that's the case. And so the silvers and silver mosaics, uh, there's a cure law, are um, pretty uh, common in retail boxes as well. So we have our first first off the line card coming up here and there's a nice Key Brian Hayes. So I'll pull from the back, Joey Votto, uh, silver men of mystery, insert. And then a introductions, Christian Robinson. Marcus Simeon and a red this is our first red which is a hobby exclusive but it's not a numbered card it looks like a rookie nice uh, Ryan Mountcastle who's I'm probably uh, bullish on him too I believe he ended up leading the league in home runs for rookies and I don't know how old he is so I think he's um, a little bit older so that might be why uh, the hype hasn't been as high on him but that's a good looking card. And then our exclusive here is, I already saw it, Chris Bubik. That's a pretty cool looking card. This is the, the first off the line exclusive, so that should be numbered to 11, eight out of 11. I know absolutely nothing about him other than he plays for Kansas City and he's a pitcher. So kind of a bummer to get a pitcher, but still a cool looking card. All right, next pack. Fly through the base stuff. There's an LK line, kind of cool to have old school guys on here. All right, we got an Andrew Vaughn rookie. We have a Jorge Moteo and a Ryan Jeffers, and I think we have our second auto here. In the back, we have a, some people have said f f uh, V tool, but I think it's like five tool, like V is in the Roman numeral. Five tool player, Mookie Betts. We have a Stairmasters, Nate Pearson. We have a Kyle Seeger, Mosaic. We have a silver, Alec Bohm, hit another one of him. Gonna hit the rainbow. Not bad, I will take that. And then our second auto. Ooh, good one. 
<laughs> I will take that one all day. That was so the checklist on the the autos. There's a hundred um, subjects with a checklist for autos, and I think 86 of them were rookies. And I mean, I only knew I think I knew like 15 of the rookies, and the other ones I had no idea who they even were. Um, obviously, he's one of the big ones, so this is a great car to get. Again, no, no logos and stuff, so not like as valuable as a Chrome, Topps Chrome, or you know one of those other ones. And it's obviously a sticker card too, but still awesome to get one of the bigger name rookie uh, position players for an auto. Awesome. All right, fly through this base stuff. Shohei Otani. Pitching. Look. Mike Piazza, all time greats. Uh, Jesus Sanchez, or Jesus Sanchez. We have Tyler Stevenson. Luis Patino. Jose Ramirez, silver. We have a Jordan Alvarez, silver. And a International Men of Mystery, Miguel Cabrera. And that's a cool one. Uh, one thing I've noticed, uh, there's, there's a decent amount of sales out there right now. And a lot of the veteran or retired Hall of Fame players have been selling like almost better than the current players for this. Um, you know, it's one of those things where there's people that collect certain players from the past and I think they tend to you know will buy up anything even if it doesn't have logos and stuff so there might be a little bit more of a market for those guys all right so fly through the space stuff rookies Andy Young Kohei Arahara Sixto Sanchez there's a Bobby Dalbeck I will take that behind that is a Clark Schmidt that is a mosaic. There's a good one. Fernando Tatis, silver mosaic. Uh, we have a Chris Sale, eyes on the prize, and a Alec Bohm, rookie debut. So I'll sleeve up the Tatis. I mean, again, limited value. Like, I don't think it's like a, you know, it's not a $20 card or anything like that. Um, but still, always good to get superstar cards that are parallels um, but like I said too like those will be in retail too so it's not like they're gonna be super rare at least not long term so base cards lots of base cards Taylor Trammell rookie Ken Griffey Jr. all-time greats Tanner Hawk and a silver of Evan Longoria and then a silver mosaic of Brandon Woodruff, Jose Abreu, and Ardellis Chapman. All right, two more packs. Should have one more first off the line card and then one more autograph too, which I can't imagine will be a big name autograph. All right, so Jesse Winker, Randy Orzarina. I guess I don't need to go through all these. Let's just skip to the good stuff. Tavares, rookie, Ian Anderson, rookie, Garcia, rookie, Kim, rookie, and then here's our second, let's pull from the back first, Casey Mize, rookie debut, Mosaic, Field Vision, Altuve, Anthony Rizzo, Mosaic, a red, of Buster Posey, then our second, I see the name already, Matt Olson. So, all right, a okay card. Seven out of eleven. Um, you know, Oakland A's not exactly a powerhouse team, but it's a nice color match though, which is always cool. So, didn't do great with the first off the line cards, but still looks really nice. Somebody will want that card. All right, last pack. So it should be an auto in here. 
hopefully. Okay, Austin Meadows, Moran, yeah, I guess I'll just fly through these. Anderson Tejada, rookie. There's a Jay Cronenworth, one of my other favorite rookies. Contreras, and then, ooh, we got shorted in auto. <laughs> um, All-time greats, Alex Rodriguez, Colin Moran, silver. Kyle Lewis, Silver Mosaic, Brian Hayes, and uh, Matthew Liberator. So that's a bummer. <laughs> um, so I can't complain too much because I did hit two, um, well, one decent autograph and then one okay autograph here, Anderson Tata and Christian Pache. Um, but no third auto. But I did, hit, uh, just to recap here, Pache, Tejada were my autos, Matt Olson, uh, Tatis, Silver Mosaic, got the Ricky Henderson, Five Tool, Alec Bohm, Silver, the Dubek, or uh, Bubek, uh, first off the line to 11, Mountain Castle Red, Bohm, Silver, and then Zach McKinstry was my only other numbered uh, card. So, all right. Bummer about the missing autograph again. I just had that happen, not with an autograph, but with um, the exclusive from one of my previous videos here with the green chrome card from Chronicles Basketball Draft Picks. And there is a process where you can go to their website and fill out a form to get a replacement. Um, I haven't done that yet for that one. I might do it for this one. I don't know. It's it's probably not that big of a deal since I did. I can't imagine they do balance these out with the autograph, so I can't imagine it would be a big name autograph. But maybe that's a way to get a decent name autograph out of this because um, I don't think they ask you for like the other autographs what you got in your box. So I don't know. Um, we'll see. What do you think of this product? Uh, is it a value? I don't know. It's an okay value because you get so many cards and so many parallels and stuff. But it, the the no license thing turns a lot of people off and stuff. So let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.